Welcome back to my channel. Today we're decorating Halloween cupcakes. You're going to need for the buttercream 200 grams of margarine, 500 grams of powdered sugar, some vanilla to taste and also some custard or some milk, one to two tablespoons. You're also going to need some colours. You can either use the paste colour or you can use a gel colour like I am. You're also going to need some coloured fondant, so let's get started. In a large bowl, or like me, my mixer bowl, I've already got my margarine in there and I'm putting in most but not all of my powdered sugar. And all I'm going to do is just mix those up until it's roughly mixed, then I'm adding in my vanilla and I'm using custard but you could equally use milk instead. You just need to mix that up. Once you've reached the consistency that you want, you're ready to separate it and start colouring because we're going to be making two different cupcakes. You want to have this quite stiff, so just make sure if it's not stiff enough, add some icing sugar because otherwise it won't hold its shape. I'm using a gel colour, but you could absolutely use a paste colour. And you just want to add it in small amounts until you get the colour that you want. And then I'm just smushing it into the bowl to try and remove some of those air bubbles. So on your cupcake, all you want to do is just put a thin layer of the buttercream over the top. And that's just going to cover the top of the cake because you're otherwise you're going to be able to see through it. Then you just need to draw two lines down the centre, they make the centre of the brain. And then you want to do squiggles, kind of like back and forward squiggles all the way along each side. And those are the two hemispheres and that is literally it. That's all you need to do. So for our second lot, all you need to do is colour some of your buttercream green or any colour that you like. But you just want to make sure that you get a nice even consistency and then just put it to one side and cover it with cling film or plastic wrap just so that it doesn't dry out whilst we're making the hat. So I've got two balls of fondant. I've already kneaded this. This is nice and warm now. I've got one ball slightly larger than the other and I have a nice greased surface. So all you want to do is push it down, soften the edges and make a disc. Then you're going to put it onto some kitchen paper to let it dry out a little bit. And I like to scrunch up the kitchen paper so that it's not completely flat on the bottom. With the larger ball, you want to make it into a cone shape. I find that if you rub it against the board, you don't get a bulbous bottom and I prefer that. And then all you need to do is just manipulate it into a cone shape and you want to have a fine point at the end. So to make the band all I've done is I've just rolled out some green fondant. I like to have a corresponding colour so that the band matches the colour that I've gone for for my buttercream but you don't need to, you can do any colour you like. And then pick it up a few times to make sure that it is not stuck to the base. And then using a knife or a pizza cutter, you can just cut some really thin strips. So all you need to do now is take your band and just push it quite tightly against the top of your hat. We're not using any water or glue to secure this, so just push it against it. Because all of this is still soft, you'll find that, that just sticks and then just cut off any excess. You just want to put this to one side to dry whilst we make the little bow to go on the front. To make the bow is actually pretty simple. All you need to do is get a neat edge, so you just cut off the end, and then you're going to fold over one side to make a loop. Using the cocktail stick or a knife, just push that down so that it stays in place. Then you're going to cut another piece and roll it over the other side. So it should be one piece with both sides folded in on each other. Then with the piece that you've got left, all you're going to do is just cut a, sl a small slither off the side so it's just slightly narrower than the actual bow. And then you're going to lay that over the top and fold it under.
So I've just got a small paintbrush and I've dipped it in water. You could use edible glue, but this sticks really well with just water, so I would say use that. And you don't want to add too much, you don't want it to be slopping around, and you don't want to make the whole thing wet, but you want just enough to make sure that it adheres, and then push it on really gently, because you don't want to ruin the loops, but you do want it to be securely in place. To secure the top of the hat to the base, again just using a paintbrush with a little bit of water on it, just place it on top and what you'll find is that if you just leave that in place you don't need to push it down too much, it will just generally stay. So you can now put this to one side because we're going to ice the cake. I have a piping bag with a large cupcake nozzle and I'm just doing a small swirl on the top and then just literally just gently place the hat on the top and that's it, you're done. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, let me know if this is the sort of video that you like and I will catch you in the next one.